Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my orb opening for Agatha, giving my thoughts on the character I have played with her quite a bit on the playtest. So, although my current Agatha on the live game isn't super big, I have a good understanding of the character, so I'll share that information with you. Uh, I know a lot of people like watching these orb opening videos, and I gotta say, I have a lot better luck when I open the orbs live on stream as opposed to uh, at home on my couch like I did yesterday. So I think I'll be saving them for, for live on Twitch. I think the reaction's better and uh, the RNG's a little bit better. I think someone at Scopely's watching me, giving me a good bump. Um, so I think we're gonna be aiming for that heading forward. Uh, anyway, let's jump into this. Let's have some fun. I did open a whack of elite orbs and like 30 regular orbs. I skipped the seed theory part for you, just showing you the end here. Uh, it's been a while since I got a million drops, so this right here, <laughs> I thought we were gonna have a great night. Uh, we're gonna jump right into some elite orbs. If I look at the twos, I have my two elite fours, but no, I want a five. I want a five on Agatha. I want a five on all the characters, and I got a multiple man five. Not even a useful character with red stars, at least not in my opinion. So we go to the elite fours, and we'll open a couple of those. War Machine, bleh. And then, bleh, America Chavez. So we have 31 uh, regular orbs that we're gonna go ahead and blow through, and we'll see what we can get. Right away, we pull another elite four, at least enough to do one. Bam, we're gonna grab that. That's a four. That's a good start. That's probably where I should have finished. Don't get greedy. <laughs> uh, but like I said, this is the arena team. So I feel very strongly about getting them all at five red star to start. And I would have loved to get Morgan at six red star and Strange at six red star. Uh, but that didn't happen. Or at least it hasn't happened yet. Maybe Morgan will give me better luck. We'll see. Here we go. So we pulled a, a couple purple drops. So we're still riding high on that 3 million gold drop. I know by now, for as far as the C3 rules go, we've already broken through those 10 orbs, but I'm still just chugging along. We're just opening these rapid fire. We're getting Agatha all over the place, but not on the orbs we want it to. Um, yeah. We pulled her two times in a row there, which is nice. We have enough for lead four. Let's go. It's another four red star. This should have been my cue. Hey, dude, stop. Stop what you're doing, because it's not going to work. Um, but greed prevails, guys. Greed always prevails. It worked out for Doctor Strange. I ended up getting a uh, five red star for that. So anyway, I reset the seed there. That's why it cut out. And then we're going to start opening again. We'll keep opening. It looks like we're going to get at least one more Elite Four. I'm just chugging through. I didn't save a single orb while doing this. But as you guys know, when I did my Omega Red video, the last orb I pulled was a good one. Maybe that's what I'm setting you up for now. Who knows? So we're getting pretty bad drops. I don't think I got another million gold drop. I think I got like a purple drop and just rolled with it. I don't know what I feel about seed theory. I don't feel anything about it, but it's just fun to do. So we have an Elite Four again. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. This will give us an Elite Five if it's a dupe. And... Come on, drop it. Yes! No, it's psych. It's just a crystal and it's a dupe. But that gives us an Elite 5. And my battery's dying on the phone. Anyway, this will be the one, guys. I've been setting you up. We're going to have some fun at your expense. Sorry, but we are going to pull the 5 on... Somebody with Spider-Man. Yay! Um, so this is where I really should have stopped. But... Greed always wins out. So let's pull our six Agatha. Let's go. Here it is. The dupe. The dupe, Jessica Jones. And then I rage open the rest of my orbs. <laughs> yes, that is rage opening. Maybe it's best I didn't do this particular opening on stream because I was swearing like a sailor who stubbed his toe when I pulled that uh, six red star Jessica Jones dupe for the third freaking time. Uh, and unfortunately, I wasn't in a good state of mind when I was opening these, so I was just spam doing it. Like, just get me through it. And I get so mad about all the greens, at some point I just hit open all. I get annoyed. Should be coming up soon. There it is. Nope. Nope, that wasn't it. Next one. Oh, here it comes. It's coming. There it is. <laughs> uh, so all blue drops. We get 74 from opening up the 8 there. Giving us 142 out of 80. Let's see, you're guaranteed, because I did buy the 2 offers. 
you're guaranteed 110 plus 96, so that's 206, right? Um, so this is an extra, I don't know, I'm bad at math. I'll edit it in. <laughs> anyway, uh, what else I got to share with you? Well, uh, me and a friend of mine, a Jedi Matroza, I've been doing infographics. We've been doing that since the Dark Hold started. There's a picture I'm going to share with my alliance. But just a, a quick look at the infographic we have for Agatha. We had it up yesterday, so it's ready to go for you guys. All my thoughts on Agatha, T4s, ISO 8, priority, kind of a breakdown of what her kit does and what she brings to the team. So that is a very quick uh, snippet about what I'm going to do right here, because now I'm going to break down her kit uh, live, speech form. Okay, sorry about that reset. I lost uh, memory on my computer and had to make some space. So let's quickly talk about Agatha's kit. Again, you can check uh, the infographic me and Jedi Matroza made for her in my Discord, which will be included in the description below. Let's quickly go over the T4s. I'll kind of rank them for you, um, and then we'll talk about Ice Away, which I guess you can kind of see where I'm headed at already. But for the basic, it's going to call in two random adjacent Darkhold allies to attack the primary target. This is super important and it's a must have for the arena. So there's characters on the Darkhold team all have very interesting ISO and assist attacks. Uh, Morgan does 10% damage, plus I think she copies and clears debuffs. Doctor Strange flips buffs. Uh, Wong cleanses. Scarlet Witch throws out some debuffs and if she doesn't have energy, it's even more debuffs. So they're all very, very powerful. You'll find that there's a damage window in the mirror matchup which is essentially you want to outspeed the enemy team until they've taken two turns and safeguard defense have fallen off. And then various members of your Darkhold team can absolutely crush the enemy. Well, having this T4 lets your uh, Agatha set up other members of your team to do big damage windows. So in my case, I like to call in Morgan and Doctor Strange to do their assists with this ability. So Morgan comes in, does 10% damage, which is great. She copies some buffs, which is huge. And then Doctor Strange comes in and he'll flip a bunch of buffs. I really like that combo. And the reason I couldn't use the basic from Strange to do that is because that window occurs exactly when he's going to use his ultimate. And obviously you're going to want to use that ultimate. It's huge damage. So I really leaned on this T4 and this ability in, more, in Agatha's kit more than I thought I would, and I actually did it sometimes instead of using the special. So I would open with the ultimate, and then I would pretty much just spam basic, especially if I was stuck behind Wong. So instead of throwing the, the stun at Wong and hoping it sticks, I would just hold on to it, and I would use this basic. It would call in extra damage. It would push him to go stealth phase a lot faster, which frees you up to attack the members you want. So I absolutely love this basic. I've already talked about it for too long here. It's a must have T4. Just take that away from that little rant. Then the special. So I just talked about the special a bit and how I kind of, I skipped it a lot to do extra damage by calling in other people. But this special is huge damage, huge. So it's 60% piercing for primary and secondary attacks. There's three attacks total. That means it's 180% piercing damage. And Agatha's uh, damage stat is huge. I've said huge too much. Um, she has a very large damage stat and this ability can pretty much 100 to like 5% an enemy if they have defense down and no defense up. Uh, it's an insanely strong ability and I definitely suggest you T for it, but it's not a must have because you can skip using it and kind of spam basics. But you're only spamming basics after you use this ability, this ultimate, super powerful, uh, applying the heal block and the offense down for two turns. It's piercing damage. It heals you and your allies, it gives barrier and with the T4, it's going to stun the highest damage Hero Mystic Blaster, which is going to be Icarus against the Eternals, and Hero Mystic Controller, that's going to be Cersei. This T4 alone makes the Darkhold absolutely crush, crush the Eternal teams. So this is her most important T4. I definitely suggest you start with this one, uh, or if you're just going to do them all, do them all whenever you can. But you definitely want to have this one. It's, it's a must have. And finally, we have her passive. Her passive is like a crazy book length passive with so many different effects that it's pulling in. And then you have the T4 aspect, which is just gain drain and give allies drain. Pretty boring. 
but nonetheless super important in the mirror matchup. You're going to really want that drain as soon as those heal blocks run off or if you can cleanse the heal blocks. You're, you're sustaining yourself up. You're waiting for your turn to hit the window of damage, and then you're because you're focusing, you're not the AI, you're more likely to get kills. But without that drain, you could fall behind, you could lose somebody. It's going to be very important. So the must-have T4s, basic, ultimate, and passive, and that special. I do recommend you eventually do it, because this is an arena team, and you're going to like having it done. Finally, her ISO. Uh, this is going to be a little contentious. Definitely Skirmisher for her. So she has the highest focus in the game, but in the mirror matchup, the enemy Morgan is giving 100% focus. She was still having a hard time landing her debuffs, and if you're going to use a special, you need it to actually pass those checks. Like, you need the slow to land, then you need the stun to land, so it's actually doing the damage, and also those crazy nice effects. And for the ultimate, you really, really, really want that heal block and offense down to land that helps you brace, so she needs to land her abilities, even with higher focus, Skirmisher is the safest bet. Striker's really strong, but there's other characters in the Darkhold that make for more interesting Strikers. Uh, we'll have an entire infographic for the entire team soon. And also, it doesn't hurt that she goes before Wong in most scenarios, so she can kind of set up Wong to have a vulnerable to hit into, and Wong could get a double cleanse out, and then you're ahead of the curve. So, Skirmisher for her is kind of the no-brainer decision for me. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you on Agatha for now. We're going to be building her up, doing some testing. Maybe if I can catch up before Morgan launches, I can find a use for the four current Darkhold characters. Uh, but anyway, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I will see you in the next one, guys. We've got a bunch of crazy videos coming out. I'm going to try and make the next one a tower video because tower starts Friday. You know, that's my favorite time of the patch. Uh, then I got to talk about the new Marauders. We're going to do a top 10 war defense video. We just put out a blitz video with Stuck and Cell. Those guys are great. So make sure you check out all the content. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, and I'll see you then. Peace.